Now I'm going to have a bit of a play around with some of the, the new tools in Affinity Design. Uh, I want to just learn a bit more about the lettering and, and uh, some of the things you can do with it with the new tools. So I'm going to try and make something that uses the knife tool, the style picker tool, and also the, the grid warp tool. Um, so I think I've got something in mind. Uh, so here I've got a couple that I've already done that sort of use some of the, the actual um, functions. So I'll use the word cold. So I can make like an icy kind of image. I'll make it a bit bigger. So first I'll just pick a, a font that's probably nice and bulky. Something like that maybe. Then I will zoom in a little bit. I'll put some I'll put some effects on it now. Uh, I find it works better to do it before you start slicing and things like that. Might make it, actually I'll put a gradient in instead. So, make it so it's a dark blue add a bit of noise to it so it's kind of like crystals like ice crystals it's probably okay then I thought maybe I'll put some some ice hanging off it so there's a couple of ways I might approach this I might use the letters themselves and convert them to curves. <clears throat> that way I can have them growing off the off the letters without having to shape it all. So what I might do is actually, actually just control V that. So I've got two now. And then I'll convert the top one to curves. I'll just I'll just keep the, the original one there for a minute. So now it's a curve, I can decide what I'd like to do. I could, in the past, I could press A and remove some of these nodes, or I could have a go at using the knife tool now. So I'd like some ice to be kind of hanging from the top of the sea, and also maybe some on the bottom, kind of like this. Okay, so now I've got three sections probably just take that section out and now I'm left with two sections now the style picker tool will hopefully come into play here I will play around with this little part and make some hopefully some ice and then when I'm happy with it I can just copy the look of it to the other sections so I'll edit this a little bit kind of have it hanging off like icicles and if your computer's running slow there's actually an x-ray version which is in the view um, view mode x-ray wireframe x-ray so it runs super fast if you know what you're doing like if you can if you actually understand what your layers are which I've found quite useful with larger files. I'll just put it back to the original. All right, so some of these sections here, it might be good to have them bulging a little bit. So you can see there's uh, the original lettering underneath there. Kind of got icicles hanging off a little bit. You can play around with that a lot. There's a lot of functionality with these nodes. 
pretty much make any shape you like. So I'm just changing these square nodes to round ones so it gives the ice a bit of a bit of volume. So that's fairly simple. I could probably spend a lot a lot longer just refining that. Now I'll just get rid of this underneath so we can have a look. Okay, so I think I'll get rid of that part as well. Maybe have that sticking up. Obviously, I could sit here for hours doing this. Now, I've got this section still here. Now, I don't like the shape of it yet, so I'll fix that up as well. Make those round. I'll just do it fairly simply. So you kind of get into the zone with this. melting off. I'll make that further. Okay, so the shape's looking okay. Uh, now I can just use the style picker tool. Click on the, oh, hang on, I had the letter selected, so I'll just make sure nothing's selected. Use the style picker and I'll unload it because it just loaded it up then. Unload it and then I just click where I want style to be. Now I could use the slice tool again and maybe make this a bit sharper so I'll just click on it first and then I can kind of slice some sections off. If I wanted it to look like more like ice then it kind of looks like ice cream or something at the moment. Um, so I kind of cut some sections off and you'll see that the gradient's kind of gone a bit a bit funny. What you can do is it actually moves the position of the gradient line. So here it's way over here. So you can manually move it to where you want. Or one thing I've found is I can just use the style picker and just click on it again. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Don't know why that didn't work actually. Um, where is the gradient? Okay, so it's way over here. I have to go in and investigate. Okay, interesting. Add some white to that. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'll take these off so we can have a look. So now it looks a bit more like icicles. Might just play around with the 3D effect a little bit. That probably looks a little bit better. Don't like that C exposed at the end there. And I think I will adjust this end just a little bit. Okay, so there's a one letter. So I might fast forward and just do the rest. Okay, so now I have my my icicles hanging off all of the text. I'm just going to apply the style picker to the um, rest of it. So I'll unload and I'll load that up. Uh, do that again. So make sure nothing is selected before doing that. 
unload. Okay, now I'll go through and add the snowy ice, ice creamy kind of icicles. Um, so you can see that's a little bit blue. I might try to fix that. I seem to be having a little bit of trouble fixing the gradients, but I have had success in the past. Okay, there we go. So I want to make it a little bit whiter. For some reason I had trouble before. But yeah, each one creates its own gradient path, so you can actually alter it just by using the fill tool. So probably that one needs some work as well. So you can go through and refine it, but this is the first time I've created this. I'm just playing around. So, um, so now, yeah, I've created cold. It's a pretty cold day here today, so I thought that might be appropriate. And I will remove that to the back, put it in the artboard, and I'll put this text back in front. There we go. So that's a simple, simple thing you can do. It's actually a pretty fun activity just to come up with a word and try and make the word actually describe it. Um, so yeah, I've got three now. So I've got cold, heat kind of looks like the uh, Miami heat in some ways and broken so broken was pretty easy I just got the lettering the same way and just drew lines through each letter and yeah heat I used the the warp tool oh that's one thing I didn't use was the warp tool so I could get this section here and then use the warp group mesh sort of create a mesh around it and I could mold it nicely so I'm going to stretch things out a bit so I don't have that overlap there I can add nodes as well which is pretty cool so that's a really nice uh, sort of fluid look to it it's quite good so there you go but you could do anything you want with that okay I hope this was interesting to watch and have some fun with your own lettering thanks